is why the owners of Chicago's iconic Willis Tower are spending $500 million for a top to bottom renovation. The owners of Chicago's iconic Willis Tower are spending $500 million for a top to bottom renovation. Chicago's skyline presents a breathtaking ensemble of architectural masterpieces, and at its heart stands the iconic Willis Tower, a symbol of the city's unrivaled engineering and design excellence. Yet the burning question remains, did the monumental $500 million renovation of the Willis Tower truly pay off? Fifty years ago, the last beam was set on May 3rd, 1973. It was incredible watching this building being built because you saw it getting higher and higher and higher. The Willis Tower is truly Chicago's Eiffel Tower, an Empire State Building, but better because it's here in our beloved city. Originally known as the Sears Tower, this behemoth of a structure held the title of the world's tallest building for nearly 25 years. In the 1960s, Chicago experienced economic growth and sought to redefine its skyline with an iconic structure symbolizing progress. The city aimed to position itself as a global hub for commerce and innovation, leading to a desire to create a defining landmark that represented Chicago's vitality. Following the approval of the plan, the construction of the tower officially began in 1970. And upon its completion in 1973, the Sears Tower became the world's tallest building. This achievement firmly established Chicago's prominence in skyscraper engineering and design. Moreover, the construction of the Sears Tower in Chicago was a remarkable feat of engineering and innovation, pushing the boundaries of skyscraper construction during its time. The technical intricacies involved in building this iconic structure were groundbreaking and set new standards for tall building design. So let's take a look at some of its exquisite design features. One of the key elements that allowed the tower to reach such heights was its foundation. Engineers utilized a unique foundation system consisting of 114 steel caissons driven into the bedrock, some reaching a depth of over 100 feet. This ensured a stable base capable of supporting the immense weight of the tower and counteracting Chicago's notoriously soft soil conditions. Adding to this, the structural design was revolutionary as architect Fazlur Khan of Skidmore, Owings & Merrill implemented a bundled tube structural system. The tower's exterior consists of nine bundled tubes, each rising independently and merging at various heights to form the structure's setbacks. This design provided both strength and flexibility against wind forces, a crucial factor in tall building construction. Apart from the structural design, the technology employed during the construction of the Willis Tower was cutting edge for its time. It required innovative approaches to handle the challenges of building such a colossal structure. Workers utilized cranes capable of lifting heavy materials to great heights, enabling the construction of the tower's steel frame and subsequent floors. For the concrete frame, high-strength concrete was used to create the tower's core and elevator shafts. This special concrete blend was designed to withstand the immense pressures and support the weight of the building. However, the construction of the Willis Tower wasn't just a building project. It was an engineering marvel that tested the limits of technology and human capability. The combination of innovative design, advanced construction techniques, and the dedication of workers resulted in the creation of an iconic skyscraper that continues to captivate the world. Did you know that the Willis Tower's elevators are among the fastest in the world? Subscribe for more amazing facts and a deep dive into this architectural marvel. In 2009, the Sears Tower, an architectural marvel, embarked on a groundbreaking $350 million green renovation. This ambitious project was a pioneer in sustainable skyscraper design, introducing a suite of eco-friendly innovations. Key among these were the installation of solar panels on the 90th floor roof, specifically designed to heat water for the building, and an array of wind turbines strategically placed on the tiered rooftops to test their efficiency in urban environments. The project also included the planting of roof gardens, covering an area of up to 35,000 square feet, a significant step in urban green space creation. This phase of the renovation aimed to reduce the tower's electricity consumption by 80% and conserve 24 million gallons of water each year, setting a new standard in sustainable building practices. Further to these environmental upgrades, 
The 2009 renovation of the Sears Tower focused on several key structural and functional improvements. Window upgrades were a major feature, with 16,000 window pieces enhanced for better insulation, contributing significantly to energy savings. The modernization extended to the building's 104 elevators and an advanced lighting control system alongside extensive mechanical system upgrades. Importantly, restroom renovations were also undertaken for improved water efficiency. Additionally, a 50-story, 500-room luxury hotel embodying similar green principles was planned adjacent to the skyscraper, emphasizing the tower's role as a model for sustainable urban development. With these comprehensive changes made just a decade ago, the recent $500 million renovation raises questions about its necessity and the value it adds to the already advanced green features of the tower. Today, the Willis Tower stands as a testament to the ingenuity and expertise of those involved in its construction, showcasing the possibilities of architectural and engineering excellence in the realm of skyscrapers. After the completion of this one-of-a-kind skyscraper, the tower came to the limelight and hosted various iconic moments and events throughout its existence. Let's talk about some of the most notable ones. The Willis Tower officially opened its doors to the public on September 4, 1973. It was a monumental event for Chicago, marking the completion of the world's tallest building at the time. The grand opening ceremony was attended by dignitaries, city officials, and thousands of visitors celebrating the architectural achievement. In addition, the Willis Tower has welcomed numerous high-profile guests, including celebrities, politicians, and world leaders over the years. Visits by dignitaries such as President George H.W. Bush, astronaut Neil Armstrong, and other prominent figures have added to the tower's legacy. Now that we know all about the tower's origin, construction, and importance among other renowned architectural marvels, let's discuss the buzz regarding its $500 million worth of renovation and whether it was worth it. The decision to revamp this architectural giant was prompted by a recognition that the tower needed to evolve to remain relevant in a competitive real estate market and cater to the needs of a changing workforce. Completed in 1973, the Willis Tower has aged gracefully, but required upgrades to meet contemporary standards for sustainability, technology, and tenant amenities. Therefore, it was decided to give this building a new life. The extensive renovation, completed in phases over several years, focused on various aspects. One of the key highlights was the transformation of the building's base, revamping it into a modernized and inviting retail and entertainment hub. This renovation aimed to enhance the overall experience for both visitors and tenants promoting the tower as more than just a workplace. Moreover, a significant portion of the $500 million investment was directed toward energy-efficient upgrades. These included the installation of efficient heating and cooling systems, LED lighting, and the implementation of smart building technologies. The goal was not only to reduce the building's carbon footprint, but also to create a more cost-effective operational model for the long term. Currently, the Willis Tower stands as an enduring icon, not only in the Chicago skyline, but also in the realm of contemporary architecture. As a testament to human innovation and engineering prowess, its significance transcends its physical stature. Looking ahead, the future of the Willis Tower holds promises and potential in several dimensions. First and foremost, the Willis Tower's recent $500 million renovation signifies its adaptability to changing times. Its role as a hub for commerce, culture, and tourism in Chicago will likely continue to evolve. Moreover, the tower's ability to embrace modern trends, technological advancements, and sustainability measures will be crucial in maintaining its relevance. Moving on, the tower's commitment to sustainability through energy-efficient upgrades and eco-conscious initiatives sets a precedent for other skyscrapers. It will likely continue to serve as a model for implementing green technologies in tall buildings, contributing to global efforts in environmental conservation. Adding to this, the Willis Tower's unique bundled tube structure and innovative engineering have influenced subsequent skyscraper designs worldwide. Its legacy as a pioneer in tall building construction will inspire future architects and engineers to push the boundaries of what's possible in architectural design. In conclusion, while the renovation's cost may seem staggering, the Willis Tower's transformation stands as a testament to the commitment to progress and innovation. It has not only preserved its status as an architectural wonder, but has also adapted to meet the demands of the modern era, ensuring its relevance and economic viability for years to come. As Chicago continues to evolve, the revitalized Willis Tower stands tall.
a shining example of how investment in iconic structures can yield enduring benefits for a city and its inhabitants. And this is it. If you liked this video, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Mega Structures Unveiled.